name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers, as we begin this day, I um, just had a um, spirit on me all day from the Holy Spirit, a word that I want to share, um, that the Lord loves you, that you are his sons, that he is your dad, uh, and that who you are in the deepest part of you is the fact that he loves you immensely, that he has chosen you. It is not you who chose him, but he who chose you. It is not you who first loved him, it is he who first loved you. Uh, and just to allow us to recognize that the loving Father is looking down upon you right now, um, no matter what kind of guilt or shame or disappointments in ourselves, frustrations that we hold, um, that he is loving you. He just wants to restore and give you strength for perseverance. And so I just ask that we take some silence and just allow that to sink in um, to the hardness of our hearts, just to allow that to permeate to the depths of us. And in this place, let us pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord God Almighty, as you, in the first reading, had those that were in need call out to the church and you raised up men as your servants, as you have called them. Uh, we trust today that you call um, and that you have called every man here. For whatever reason, they think that they are here. Whoever asked them to go, whoever maybe forced them to go, that you were the one behind that, that they are here. And it is your call and you want to raise up a new generation of men that would be your warriors, your fighters, your servants, your mouthpiece, your hands and your feet out in the world. And today, Lord, we open our hearts and we say yes, yes to you. And we trust you in whatever call you place upon our hearts, whatever the next step is in our lives, we know that you are our dad and you have called us your sons, your beloved. And we pray this all in your name, in the power of your spirit. We ask for the intercession of Mary, our mom, as we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All right. Good morning, good people. It's glad to, I'm glad to see everybody here today. What, what a better, what a great way to start with, with great prayer to get this conference going, this 11th annual men's conference from the North Texas Catholic Brothers for Christ. You know, we do this every year, but we don't look at this as we're doing a conference. We, do the, we look at this as a movement. This is a movement of men standing up for our faith, proclaiming the gospel as ordinary people out in the world. That's what this whole uh, conference is about. Our mission is to, in, to invite and invigorate men to live into the fullness of Christ's purpose for their lives through wholehearted prayer, engaging brotherhood and intentional acts of service. You being here is the brotherhood, right? I see so many familiar faces that I see every year, but I also see new faces, which is great. Anybody here because they heard an ad on the ticket? Awesome, awesome. So we, we've expanded our advertising this year to go all over the place. We're trying to expand that net out to get as many people here as possible. Uh, our vision is spirited and courageous missionary disciples fighting together alongside their brothers to cultivate a Christ-centered culture in North Texas. Um, you know, there, there's people here in all stages of their formation. There's some that have little formation, like I was several years ago. There's some, you know, there's some people that are in in the late phase of the formation. But but you, we ought, we have to continue to to educate ourselves. We've got to continue to be engaged in the battle because it's, the battle's never going to go away. 
it's not going to go away. So we have to be there. Um, so I just want to say thank you, St. Anne's, for this great facility. We've, we've had a great partnership with St. Anne's. Uh, the, it's a great location for the, everyone in the Metroplex. And the people here have just been spectacular, like unbelievably been over backwards to make sure we got everything we need here. So I'm so happy with that. And hopefully we can do this again. Also, they have the best kneelers in the world. I can, I can kneel there forever in those, those kneelers. They're, they're great. We need to add some good shepherd like that. Um, but anyway, it's been a great partnership. And thank you, uh, Father Edwin, for all your support there. So today's theme is about faith and perseverance, right? It's about Everybody knows what's going on in the world. We have inflation, record inflation. We have, uh, you know, we, we don't have supply, the supply chains messed up. There's wars in Ukraine. The, you know all the issues, the political issues we have. So we're here today to sharpen our tools, to hear our speakers talk about how we can get become better disciples. That's what we're here for. And we're here to persevere in faith. So that's our battle cry. Um, so uh, a couple things about our ministry, uh, the North Texas Catholic Brothers for Christ. You know, we've changed our logo. If you guys have noticed, the guys have been here every year, you notice our logo. logo is a little different, with a little bit different color. Uh, we have an updated website. Go to our website. Use our website. There's all kinds of resources on that website. So you can take to your parish, to, your, to, to everyone, you know, that you touch. Spread that website because we did a lot of work on that website to get it where it's easy to use and so you, so you can spread it to others. So take a look at that. Um, we have a prayer basket up here like we do every year. So please bring your prayer intentions. There should be index cards in your bags. Put your prayer intentions in that, in that basket. And we pray for them. The leadership team of Catholic Brothers prays for those prayer requests all year long. So every day we have a list of prayers that we pray and we add one of those every day. So take advantage of that. Plus you get the prayers from all these brothers here today. 